I think one of the things that Silo is saying is that we have to listen to ourselves. We can't just like take everything we're seeing online, everything that the news is reporting and just say that's law and that's it. We have to like use our own discernment, do our own research, pray about things, discuss things with people who may have different perspectives so that we can have a true pers perspective and choice and make a real choice about how we want to approach things in life. New York. Hi, my name is Gil Robertson, president of the African American Film Critics Association. Today, we are thrilled to be talking to one of our old friends, Mr. Common, who is the star of the Apple TV Plus series, Silo. We're going to kick things off by introducing you to the Apple members on the call today. Hey, Common, thank you. Anthony from the movie blog. Uh, first off, you, you know you wanted the best of all time, right? Like, you're in my list of top rappers, especially from my generation. I just wanted to give you your flowers and start there. Oh, thank you, Anthony. Please, I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> Um, you've been referred to as a conscious rapper, so I'm going to kind of double down on what Karan just brought up. I'm curious on your thoughts on this, right? A recurring theme in Silo is about leaders towing the line of necessary authority and societal manipulation. What do you think audiences can really learn from the Silo system or, or lack thereof about trust and leadership, especially in an election year? You know, as you spoke about me, me as a musician, I want to say that, you know, one of the things I always wanted to get across was, well, I could say once I developed something to say in my raps, um, I wanted to get across like self-empowerment, self self-love, um, truly listening to yourself and, and having knowledge of yourself and knowing and learning you more and growing within that and really embracing that and feeling the power of that because that will be your guiding light throughout life. It's like you being in tune with God and being in tune with yourself and having those like that moral guidance because of it's the spiritual thing and it's, you know, the way you practice your life and who you are. I think one of the things that Silo was saying is that we have to listen to ourselves. We can't just like take everything we're seeing online, everything that the news is reporting and just say that's law and that's it. We have to like use our own discernment, do our own research, pray about things, discuss things with people who may have different perspectives so that we can have a true perspective perspective and choice and make a real choice about how we want to approach things in life. I mean, those things came up when Blank during the pandemic. A lot of that came up. Like, how are we going to function in this? Everybody didn't believe this. Everybody didn't believe that. What? Where did you stand? Like, it's up to you to decide. And it's also your body, your mind. Your And I think Silo is encouraging the individual to to learn themselves, to be themselves, and, and to know themselves more so that they can make those choices and not always believe uh, a government's truth over God's truth or your truth. Um, but your truth has to have some type of, you know, um, process to it and experience and wisdom in it. Um, so I like that it's questioning the powers that be and it's making us think about those things and um it is encouraging the the individual because like i said that's similar to what i want to do with my music and know my character is not on that side of things the show overall is that amen thank you so much for that answer it means a lot to me thank you common thank you thank you thank you we appreciate your time sir we love the show. We're looking forward to season two. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks, thanks everyone for asking great questions and being on for this. I appreciate y'all love and support. Gil, thank you for everything. Absolutely.
On behalf of the world's largest group of Black film and TV critics, we thank you for watching this edition of After Roundtables. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Peace. Love, y'all.